Hey, I got quite the reception when I arrived at the airport in Lagos, Nigeria. It was eye-opening to say the least. Stay tuned to find out what happened next on Insight Travel. So recently, uh, back in August 2022, so last month, I went on a group tour to Lagos, Nigeria. And it was a pretty awful tour, by the way. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about what happened when I arrived at the airport in Lagos. So, uh, so you know, we get off the plane and we go to get our luggage. And just throughout the whole process, like, you know, just going through, you know, you have to uh, put your suitcase and everything through the x-ray machine. Um, you got somebody, miss, miss, right here. Why don't you put something right here? Why don't you put something right here? And this thing just went on throughout, uh, just until we got out of the airport. And it was just awful. Uh, I got over there to... Uh, when I was getting my bag off the baggage rack, or what's that little circular thing, the conveyor belt? Because they have a, they still have a belt over at the Lagos airport. So there's some guy there. You know, he's trying to get my suitcase. I'm like, no, no thanks. You know, and then at some point he's like, I need water. I need water. I'm like, look, I don't have any water, sir. And there were like three or four of these uh, airline officials or guards or I don't know what you call them, but you know, they worked at the airport and they had on uniforms. And so this is what they did to us. All of us, uh, I'm gonna say just got victimized, you know, because they're like asking for money for no apparent reason. I mean, just give me money because I asked for it. Put some money right here. Just put it here. You wanna put something here for me? I mean, it was really extra. And you don't know what to do because, you know, you never had this happen before. And I'm a world traveler. I've been all over. I've been to Mexico. I've been to uh, just about, well, I should say everywhere in Europe. But I've been to quite a few places in Europe. And I have never had this happen. I didn't happen. It didn't happen in South Korea. You know, it didn't happen uh, when I was in Estonia, Germany, Sweden, Denmark. You know, so so I was completely taken back. Everybody was taken aback. I didn't give him any money because I'm like, why am I giving you money? And you know, we're tired. We've been traveling for about 14 hours. So we don't really have time for the dumb stuff. So we were able to get through that. And then once we got our bags and we went outside, it's, it's like this really lengthy walk, you know, like to the front of the airport where you can catch a ride. So... During that time, again, you have people trying to get at you. And then I had this one guy, you know, because I'm like, no, you know, I got it. I got my suitcase. I don't need you to roll it for me because, I mean, the suitcase is on wheels, right? So this one guy, he even tried to grab my suitcase. And I had to, like, go, ah, you know, to get this guy away from me, you know? So it was, it was really crazy. And I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? It was the same coming back, of course. So it was, it was little, it was worse this time because now they're like, you know, stamping your passport and, you know, all this kind of thing. And I had one guy actually try to give me a hard time. And, you know, he was like, at, you know, questioning me and acting like he didn't want to uh, you know, stamp my passport and that kind of thing. And this other guy rolled over who I talked to previously before this guy or officer who, I mean, come on, he was, he was short, he was unattractive, he was fat, big old giant pot belly, talking about, I think you and I should be friends, give me your phone number. And so, of course, you know, I gave him a fake number. And then uh, when the other guy was giving me a hard time, he rolled over, had a chat with him in Yoruba, you know, because they won't, they won't speak like Nigerian pigeon in front of us because they know we can understand it. And so they'll speak like Yoruba or some other indigenous language. So, 
you know, the, we can't hear what they're, what they're saying about us or how they're trying to, you know, extort money from us or whatever they're trying to do. So when I got to the next officer, the layers just, you know, it's lots of layers there. So I got to the next guy and he was like, oh yeah, you know, I see you're an engineer. You want to give me a little something? I'm like, this ninja, right? Oh my gosh, why am I giving you money? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he was stamping my passport, so, you know, I felt like I had to give him a little something, so I did. But um, it was just it was just awful. It was, it was the, the worst, ex well, I shouldn't say the worst, but one of the worst experiences traveling. What is going on with these people? And, you know, and they get angry with you if you don't give them money. And I'm like, why am I just giving you money? And the ugly part is they have this big sign before you even get into the airport saying extortion is not tolerated at the airport and then when you get inside that's all they're doing is extorting the passengers there's even this fake number to call you know if you can believe it there's a fake number to call there's this you know and you can see the sign right there that they have because I just had to take a picture of it because I couldn't believe it I'm like that's all they do is extort you when you get into the airport you know, like, ah, you know, Americans. But, uh, you know, they don't mind doing it to the African Americans. There's no, my brother, my, well, it's my brother and my sister when they're extorting you. But outside of that, you know, there's no, there's no, there's no kumbaya. You know, that's some kind of fiction, fictional, uh, mythical fantasy that, uh, a lot of African Americans who are going over there, you know, they think that's how it's going to be, and then they get a rude awakening that that's not the case. No money, no honey, no love. No money, no honey, no love. No money, no, no money, no, no money, no honey, no love. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk about that because I couldn't believe it. So my initial impression of Nigeria wasn't very positive to say the least and sadly things just went downhill from there so has this ever happened to you have you traveled to africa or to lagos nigeria or any country and got the shakedown on touchdown let me know in the comments and thanks for watching stop before you go don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload our special edition podcast, Anatomy of a Romance Scam. Believe me, you don't want to miss it.